Welcome to the Jiu Jitsu instructional channel. So we tied to fighting, James and Ryan here. We're gonna go into the Mandis Guard again, but we're gonna go into a common defense that people use. It's the same defense people use in the Dealer Heavy Guard, which is that back step. We covered that in the Dealer Heavy video. But now from the Mantis Guard, we're gonna cover what to do then as well. Go down the description. There is the link to Sweet Science Fighting Underground. All the strength conditioning programs are in there, as well as Ryan and the community to praise out any of your matches or techniques. So um, we're going into Mantis Guard. Uh, I'm gonna sh uh, we're gonna show you kind of uh, one of the common things that happens here in De La Hiva um, is the back step, right? So, you know, everybody knows for the most part here, if he does a big back step, he's going to end up in a leg lock position. He'll just sit over top of my knee, and then I'm, you know, he's in honey hole position. Um, so, just like with everything, there's strength and weaknesses to everything, but the good news is that we kind of understand that that can be a weakness. Um, when somebody, Mantis guard is not a good idea to do this. And the reason why, again, is because I can easily go inverted. And that's, that's the problem. This grip is, this has no, it, 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 this grip is not very good at controlling my leg anymore, okay? So even if it was somehow I couldn't get my leg away, I just simply grab and I kick this away and then it's gone, right? So um, let's say we do that, we kick. Now, the issue now is that my shoulder, remember I was talking about my shoulders down to the ground, I can easily invert here. It's not difficult, right? So if I just pull myself around and I'm here. Again, if I start to reach, now we're in, I have a, sweep, a, a fantastic sweeping position here, right? You also have leg entanglements I can go in here. I could just switch and go to a leg entanglement here. I can switch to a different guard, but why, why would I do that when I could just do a sweep? So essentially all we're doing is I have both legs and I have a pulling mechanism here and I just pull down and boom, they fall. And from here, again, it depends on what you wanna do. I can simply go into leg entanglements. I can sit up and just take the sweep. Um, do all kinds of things. I can go deeper on the leg. So let me show you that real quick, which would be more like a waiter type of position. So if I'm here, he does a back step, and I break this, break that out, come around, I grab here. I could really shoot for the knees here and bring this in. And now you can see there's a really good sweeping position. From here, I could simply go back to a leg. There's, there's a, depending on what you want to do. Okay, I won't, I won't go too into too much too many uh, options there, but there's certainly options. But effectively what we've done is the guard, I always say the guard has a certain job. You need to get a submission or a sweep, and it's usually a sweep. So it's done its job, so from there, you, based on your skill level, that's what 